Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Satisfactory. We're so close to getting exploration basics done. That's gonna unlock our object scanner. And then after that, I wanna get some upgrades done to some of our existing facilities before looking into the future and how we're gonna come up with the next tier over there. Let's talk about it for a second. So in our hub, we need to have enough pipes or enough rods to generate, well, to get the object scanner. We're gonna use that object scanner to start looking at coal power as well as logistics mark two, which is gonna be super helpful because it does two things. It gives us a new conveyor belt, which can handle more resources per minute. And it also gives us the conveyor pole stackable. So it allows us to stack conveyor belts on top of each other, very, very useful. Okay, so those two things, is something that we want. Let's talk about how we're gonna do it. First things first, we're just gonna go ahead and unlock the object scanner by pulling in some of these rods right now. We're gonna come over here and build the object scanner with a beacon. So we need to build the beacons. You now have access to an object scanner and beacons. We're gonna get Another beacon, as soon as we have the cables. Okay. Let's get the beacon. Now we can build our object scanner. And the object scanner will let us scan for, you guessed it, objects. So let's equip that. Now we can choose what kind of objects we want to scan for usually. Uh, but by holding down the button, we only get to choose for power slugs for now. Uh, Tier three, unlockable. We can start scanning for coal, which would be great for our resource scanner. Right now though, I wanna look for these little power slug guys. So, this little scanner thing is gonna beep at me when we get close to one. Now I know there's one up there, so I'm gonna head up there and see if I can find it because getting these things overclocked with these power slugs Seems like a pretty good deal. At least until we get coal power, which I've never used before. So it's gonna be fun. All right, we're on top of the hill. Albeit we're way out back, but we're on top of the hill. We got a green power slug there. That's not even the one I was chasing, is it? No, we have another one. Cool. There's our base, it just keeps going up. Jesus. Look at that silly thing. It's so silly. It's so silly. I love it to death. It's right at the end of the hill. There we go. So that's a second power slug. Any other slugs we can get? It's starting to beep at me again. Well, it did beep anyway. I want you to look for power slugs. If I can find more, I will take them. I don't see any down there. It is beeping. Maybe there's some on top of that hill. Wait, do I see one way over there? I think there's one on top of that rock over there. That's pretty far away. Let me head this direction for a bit. Okay, so we have another power slug up on our little pip here. And I'm thinking it's on top of these rocks, which is a bad idea. It's a bad thing because I can't get close enough. This place is covered with that toxin. So I can't get up there yet. But I should eventually be able to just plop down a launcher and launch myself up there. But I don't see one right now. So we're going to be walking away from it now. That's just the way it is. I don't see it pipping at me anymore. It's kind of open. Maybe there'd be another one this direction. Not so much. All right, so that's all the power slugs we can get. So let's go back to over here and see about 
It'd be nice if we could somehow create something that would draw them in, you know? Here's a whole bunch of biomass. Look at how quickly we get it. Like, that's two full stacks there. It's crazy. We can do, do biomass ourselves like this, too, if we want to. But this is a waste of my time, right? Why am I doing it this way when I can just do it the other way? Let's go like this. Yeah, you're, you're not full of biomass anymore. Here you go. We'll just keep filling that up, I think. It's probably a good idea. 62 here. We can top this off. Let's put the biomass inside here. So if you ever want to top off that machine, we can just do so. All right. Oh, also, we want to put leaves in here. Yeah, just throw them all in here. That's good. And then the wood. We actually need to collect wood. And I don't... Oh, I used it for the biomass. What's wrong with me? I just wanted an excuse to use my chainsaw. That's all it is. I just wanted an excuse to use it. Let's come on up here. We'll cut down some trees. We need 25 wood to, to unlock alternative wood coal. Which seems pretty nice. Well, there's all the wood I need for it, so let's go down and let's make it happen. All the way down to our base again. To our base again. Wood? Go for it. We can now do wood coal. Alternate wood coal. There it is. One wood generates coal for steel production. It costs one wood to get five coal. Very cool. We can shift all of our production. All of our wood production can now go towards coal instead. That's pretty nice. So we'll use the leaves for biofuels and everything else can go that way. Okay. Next thing to get. We want to look at getting coal power set up, but I think logistics too is probably somewhere closer to where I want to be. I need 20 rotors for this, but other than that, we have all the retor all the resources for it. So let's pop this in. We'll pop the 19 steel plates we have, our iron plates we have, and the five rotors. And then we need to create some additional rotors if we can. We can also make two power shards, and we totally will. We're going to use those power shards Probably to overcome. Yeah, you know, let's use them strategically. There's not really a whole lot of reason to change what's happening over here right now. Let's just pull in. Oh, look at all this copper wire. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much we have for copper wire right now. Let's funnel it in. Look at all the copper we brought you. How to do. Reinforced steel plates. We can get that easy from this storage bin. We have 85 of them in storage now. That's a lot. There we go. And all we need now is to build the rotors. We can build five more. Before we run out of screws. So let's grab a bunch more screws. Grab four more rotors. Uh, more screws, I guess. I don't want to run out of the rods. I think we can build one more here. There we go. Okay. Let's pop this in. How many do we got? We've got 13 of them. Okay. Almost enough. We need to build two more. Shouldn't be a problem. All I got to do is grab the rods that are in here. That'll take care of it. Two more rotors, and we got what we came for. Awesome. Pop this in. Where'd it go? Right here. Pop it in. Mark two logistics, baby. All right. So I want to build. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short range transportation. All right. 
Mark two belts. Are they automatically upgraded? So mark two belt here. So I don't want to move more product faster. I need to upgrade that belt to a mark two belt. So let's see. Probably a good idea to move any resource that has to go like a long distance. I'm thinking like probably this one could move a bit faster. We have, mm, this not producing it any faster. We can overclock this, produce them even faster. These plates are splitting, right? They Some of them go directly to storage, others go in for the reinforced plates. I don't think I really need to necessarily do this just yet. But if I was going to, I think that's a good, a good one to do it with. What about this side? We don't really have a, a good candidate. Like everything just in general needs to move fast. This, this needs to move faster. Yes, this is what we're gonna make Mark II right here. We're gonna upgrade this belt to Mark II. Now we're moving super fast. Perfect, upgrade this belt and upgrade this belt. And you know what? Let's do probably, mm, this is the belt that's important because it's the one that's combining everything and moving quicker, right? So everything needs to come out of here and just move into storage. And now it is way faster. See how, how much faster this belt goes than the other one? It's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. We could probably do... There's no real reason to do the, the copper this way. What I'd like to find is coal sources. But we can't scan for it yet. So we'll need to unlock the ability to scan for it. So see if we can find it. Milestones. Let's go to coal power. We need 25 rotors, uh, a whole bunch of copper, a whole bunch of copper, and uh, reinforced steel, reinforced iron plates. We have enough plates. We can easily make enough rotors and we'll already have enough on the copper as well. So let's grab as many of these as we can for the purposes of making rotors. We have a bunch of screws. Actually, hold on, let's not make the screws because we're also making screws over here. Another thing I need to do is I need to get walkways. This jumping through my stuff is is really not, it's not great. It's not the greatest experience. We need to do that. Look at, here's more of these, perfect. Let's just pull all of these in. I wanna make as many rotors as possible. In fact, why don't we have an assembler do it? Right? I mean, it's the same process as this. Except instead of screws and plates, we do screws and uh, and the rods. Which we're already doing, kinda, right here, into the storage bin. So, why don't we do that? But how would I designate what to separate? That's the problem. That's the thing I'm not sure of. How do I designate what, to, how, to, how it separates if I do it that way? It's not just gonna separate itself, right? Like I put a, a conveyor belt out this way. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it could just go into one. It doesn't have to be fed any specific way. Let's try it. I've never tried it this way before, so let's, let's give it a shot. Assembler. Uh, I, need, I need rotors for this. I have the parts to make it, so let's just do it. Also, we could look at, since we have the Mark II, right? We could look at getting uh, this setup, our stackable conveyor belts, right? We get the stackable ones, and we can then line them up and move multiple rows of resources at once. 
which is kind of cool. We'll do that later because we're going to have to move some resources pretty good distances, I think. All right. Let's make a bunch of rotors really quick. And then we can automate this process, I think. I'm not sure what it takes to make motors. I forgot what it's what it is for motors. But we got quite a few rotors now, so let's come back over here and test this test this out. Theoretically, as long as the thing is receiving the resources it needs, it's right here. As long as it's receiving the resources it needs, does it really matter what chute it goes in? Uh, it's encroaching on something else's clearance. Perfect. Perfect news. It's just what I like to see. We can always put it over here, too. It's not the end of the world. I think we will. Maybe we'll put it here. I kind of like this idea. Because I don't really like the storage bin here, to be honest. And these two things are already going. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're gonna put this right here. This assembler can come in like this. Like this. Then we can take this. There's a ton of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the merger. This will stop all the resources from coming in. Take a look at what we have in here. As long as we can pull it into inventory, we're good. Looks like we are. Excellent. Let's go ahead and break this down. We break this down. Alright. So what we want from this... Take this down and tear this down. So this is... Gonna make us our rotors for now, right? So... We're gonna probably overclock... Uh, the power facility for all this stuff. This stuff is hooked up all the way down there. We're going to have to hook it up to this. Where's the biomass for this? Is it there? Yeah, it's this one. Probably going to want to overclock this one. And send the power to the facility that way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's pop one of these in here. And we'll overclock this. All right, so we're eventually going to want a power pole to be, like, out here somewhere. Where's a straight line from that power facility? Can I get a straight line from that? It's right here, so we could go like this. It's not a bad placement, right? Mm, I don't think I can actually connect that. Yeah, three out of four. Nice. To here. Missing cable. Great. I'll have to make a cable. It's okay. So what I want to do is take this conveyor belt, put it in here. Take this conveyor belt, bring it around, and put it in there. That will get that thing collecting all the resources it needs to make what it needs to make. And we're going to have you create rotors. There you go. Excellent. Alright, then we need to get cable. Now, I don't think I have any cable stored anywhere, so I have to make it the old-fashioned way. But cable just takes wire. So, you know what? Let's, let's do both of this. Let's do this as well. We've got a ton of wire here. We don't need this much wire. Like, we can do other things with it. So, how about we build a constructor which I need wire for. I, I need wire for this too. Hang on. Let's have cable made for us. I've kind of been neglecting cable. But it's pretty important to have made. So we'll get a few of it here real quick. Actually, before we start working on that, let's let's focus. Before we start working on that, we can get rotors production started while we're working on the other thing. And again, I need to get walkways so I don't have to do this anymore. So power. We have the cables. Let's talk about power. We want to bring power from this line to this line. And then probably going to have another power pole out this way. Probably just... Mm. 
right here should work fine. That should work fine. We'll bring the power from there to here, and then this will hook up to this. And that will take care of the power for this facility. And it's gonna start making the rods. It's got the rods, yep. Let's start, let's fill this in a bit. Get this a bunch to start with, so it can start working. And it looks like this is now down. Did we shut down everything that's connected to this grid? I think we did. Yeah, this entire grid is down now. Because this is over, this is overloaded. Uh, you know what? I want it. I want it bad enough. Let's put another one in. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Are you seriously near capacity right now? There, there you rock. There you go. Rock and roll. Let's get it all done. This is going in. Yep. We got a good surplus of rods and screws in here. Now, we need to deliver motors to here, not rotors. So, the output from this still needs... And we no longer have our spare screw pop. Yeah, we're not getting our spare set of screws, actually. That's a bit of a problem. We still need screws made. You know? We still need screws made. What about... I mean, we're having screws made there, but if we could have... You know what? We probably should just set up more... We need more, guys! More of everything! More, 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 more! <laughs> uh, we can actually do this faster as well. Let's go Mark II conveyor belts. Let's upgrade these. So they go faster. Let's make sure all these are going as fast as we can go. I want to, I want product to move, man. Let's get the product moving. Alright. Mark two belts. Go. Mark two belt. Go. I need these belts. I want this thing cruising. Alright. Let's flow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. I need more reinforced steel plates. That's fine. We'll eventually get all of them upgraded anyway. Reinforced steel plates. Uh, there's no more plates. Wow. We can shut down concrete production for now. It's taking up more storage space than I'd like. So let's, uh, let's shut down the concrete production. We don't need it anymore. Not at this time, anyway. We want to pull the plates out of here. Let's get the rods out of here. These plates can come out. These plates can come out. And we'll set them in this storage bin up here. And we want to keep those. Alright, and we can pop some extra screws in here, too, I guess. Okay. So next is this. We want to make cable production. I have been neglecting cable. So let's pop another constructor over this way. Mm. Now here's a here's a bit of a dilemma, right? It's like spacing. Because I still want the cable input into the storage units. I still want the cable to go into the storage unit. Okay, I think I got it. We're gonna go like this, I think. It's a little bit it's a little bit wonky, but I think it'll work. Let's take these belts. Let's dismantle this belt and this belt. Okay. We're gonna take our belts. Bring it around this way. That's what I suspected. It's not going to let me do that. That's what I thought. We need to move this constructor a little bit further away. So let's move it like over here instead. Alright, we'll come this way. 
and like that, good. And then we'll come over here, bring it over, and hook it up to this. Oh, and we want the Mark IIs on this too, I think, probably. Yeah, we might as well do the Mark IIs on this. I mean, they're... It's a lot of reinforced steel plate, that's my problem. Can't afford it, that's what I thought. All right, let's configure this for cable. We need to bring in the wire. We'll start you off with 280 wire to get you going. And what I want to do is I need to hook up, hook this up to power. I don't know if we have any spare power. That's the problem. I don't think we have any spare power. Definitely not. Do I really need to double overclock on that unit over there? Like, is the double overclock really necessary to have that running? Whoops, wrong way. This way. Yep, still need walkways. I think it's this one. We are getting close to peak every single time, so yeah, we kind of need the double overclock for this one in order to make it run. But we shut down concrete production which means this one should be under load. It is way under load, way under load. Okay. Let's get a power pole. I don't have my fricking copper. I don't have my fricking wire. Let's make a power pole. And it comes out this way. Okay, and we'll hook it up with the cable that we have. So from this, bring us to here. From this, bring it to uh, the new one I just made, which is this one. And then this one goes to this. We now have power. We should see cable coming right out, perfect. So now we have a dedicated line making tons of cables. Good stuff. We have even more tons and tons of wire production, loads of biofuel production. We love our biofuel, don't we? We'll just grab a stack of this. And now we want to research coal power, which shouldn't be too hard considering how much wire we have, how much re re steel, which shouldn't be too hard considering how much uh, wire we have. And also how much reinforced iron plates and the rotors production is underway, so that's good. So let's dump in our wire. We'll dump in our rotor. We got 10 of those made. And the reinforced iron plates, we have eight of them in inventory, so we can look at maybe getting some more of those if there's any more in here. There are 20 more in here. Isn't that nice? How are we doing on our rotors? All right, what does it take for walkways? Let's let's talk about this. Can we can we do that? I don't think I actually have. It's not unlocked yet. It's in uh, tier four, right? No, that's improved melee combat. Uh, it's it's not coal power. Is it tier two? Oh yeah, walkways, it's tier two. All right, well, maybe we'll work on that next. Cause this, this is, this is killing me. This jumping around stuff, it's killing me I say. We have 41 rotors in here, oh my God. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Wait, are you, are you going through the iron rods faster than we can produce them? I think you are. I see you going through these iron rods faster than we can produce them, dude. Is there any way to get more iron rods into this machine? I would have to have them... I 
Hmm. Yes. I would have to find a way to get ingots directly here, though. That's probably not going to work. We could always stack. What if we, what we what if we did the stack? How does that work? I've never used this. If I use the stack, right, the pull. If I build this, this lets me put conveyor belts on top of this. I was kind of hoping there'd be a way to, I don't know, have the resources drop off and fall onto this and go kind of thing. I don't know. We'll look at that later. I've never used one of those and I kind of want to try it to see what it's, what it's like. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close to the point where I'm where as far as I've been. So we're going to start learning together here any minute now. If I could somehow speed this thing up to make more iron rods. We got the... This did not need to be upgraded, you know? Like, I could have gotten this back. It did not need to be... It did not need to be Mark II. Absolutely did not need that. We can grab resources super fast out of here now. These are all ingots, though. Yeah, there's so many. It can't. It can't produce fast enough. We need one of those to come in here. Hmm. You know, I got a little bit of an idea. I'm not sure how well it will fly. But we should probably start using this other source we have for iron. So my idea is to use this last iron source. I kind of want to get coal, to be honest. I really want to get coal. Like coal power instead of the biomass. Which is what we're working on here. I just need rotors. If you can produce the rotors... If you can produce enough rotors. Well, we have enough. We have enough. Let's do it. Let's go get coal power. And then maybe we'll work on the, the walkways so that I don't have to jump through these anymore. Uh, this and this. Let's go. All right. We can scan for coal. Let's Milestone see where it is. Reached. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explorer and explorer. Holy crap, that's far away. 636 meters away. Coal is very far away. We might need a second base, actually. For that kind of distance, I think we're going to need a second base. Mmm. This is intriguing. Coal is all the way this way. It's all the way over here. Wow. Is it just a small... Is it just a small resource? Maybe we'll have to go and truck it. We might have to get our vehicles up and truck it. Which is really inefficient, but it's power, right? So if it takes less time to drive over there and get the coal and bring it back than it does for me to go around collecting shrubs, uh, it's probably worth it. Look at how intimidating that thing is. I just geek out about the, the space elevator. It's, it's super intimidating. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it yet. Unfortunate as it is. 
Look at all these reinforced iron plates. They're just hanging out here, right? This is a big slowdown. What's the slowdown? It's our storage unit. It needs, we need more. Let's do this for now. Uh, why won't you? Let me up. Where's my ladder? Let me up. The storage situation is slowing everything down. Temporary. But it'll be effective. Or not. So resources can now pile into this one. Good. Resources will just pile into this one now. It'll all be exported out. So we, we'll connect it. Let's pull some resources out of here first. That will free up some space. My god, it doesn't. We have so much stuff. I just have to start using it, man. I just have to start using it. Plates, plates, concrete, concrete. Pull the concrete out of this. So now there's room for concrete. Now there's room for more plates. Now there's room for more of this. Okay, we have everything out of this now. This should be a seamless transition now to move everything over. Well, seamless, I guess. Not really, but... It should help. Everything should move now, at least. This is a regular conveyor belt as well. We need to move things quicker. I need things moving quicker. Reinforced iron plates. Come here. I need all of you. Yeah, look at all this. We need we need this stuff to move quicker. Let's do Mark II on this. Mark II on this. And this. And this. Let's get it all pumped in here really quick. Please. Please and thank you. Move stuff along now. Uh, this belt over here, I think, needs upgraded, too. No, not really. This is always waiting on screws, I think. Right? You're always waiting on screws. This one can be upgraded, so we can move the screws through quicker. I need those reinforced iron plates to be in my inventory, though, in order to do that. That should be enough, I think. There we go. Alright, we should be able to move screws into this way faster now. So I better not see this being slowed down anymore. Can we replenish it of screws? Can we replenish it in time so that the screws are not slowing it down? I think we can. It's producing pretty quickly. Yep, we're good. So the screws will always be in there now. Nice. So this should be constantly kicking out things, at least as fast as it can. We should be seeing this kick out things now. Good. Good, good, good. See, look at this. It's completely empty. Why is it empty? Because we're out of biofuel. All the machines are shut down. My god. This game keeps you busy. You're always going to be busy playing this game, guys. Satisfactory is going to take thousands of hours of your life away. It's just the way it is. And I am in love. <laughs> I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we're going to start talking about how to get coal set up here instead of the biofuel. In the next episode, I think we're going to look at coal. Um, at least that's what I'd like to do. 
We can make tractors. And they can take any fuel type. And then we also have a truck station. So we can either send or receive resources to vehicles. Has an inventory with 48 slots. Transfers up to 120 stacks per minute to and from docked vehicles. Always refuels vehicles if it has access to matching fuel type. So we can we can dump coal into this, or we can dump biofuels into this if we can, but the tractor will be pretty useful. And we can almost build one. Uh, we just need the beacons, I think is what it is. Yeah, five beacons and two modular frames. I can have a tractor right now with the resources I have in storage. But you will see that in the next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.